Hello everyone, my Serang here, and I'm trying Endless with the, uh, with the Plaguebringer, and I'm gonna do a, a Rats build. So I've hard-coded this gun to have, or, I've hard-coded the mo- the, 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 uh, Rats and Crow's Blessing and the other card, Black Plague, to be very likely to show up. So by the end of this run we're gonna have five rats and... Okay. We have five rats. Hmm. Do I want the crow's blessing now or the ravenous rats now? Well it doesn't matter because I'm gonna pick up both of them eventually. So like do I want conscription or holy sanctuary? I guess if I take the Ravenous Rats, I'm going to... Uh, this this mod specifically lets you pick up three copies of Ravenous Rats. Um, add one pawn every six turns. Or... King can't be killed if a bishop or rook is alive. I think at the end of this run, pawns are going to have more health than the amount of rats I have. So I think conscription will be, like, kind of a nuisance. I will have to deal with, um, rats trying and failing to attack the king, but I'm okay with that. With rats and Black Plague, anyway. Alright. Do I want to add eight pawns and give them plus one speed? Um, or do I want pikemen? Uh, okay. I guess having a very high number of pawns will be fine for a while. I didn't want to give them plus one HP last round, but... Now, just them existing is probably okay. Ordinarily, Legion is so dangerous that it's frequently run-ending, but because Ravenous Rats, getting multiple rats is like really good against them, it's probably fine. Alright. So do I want... Oh, well... I could take one of these wands and then get the Black Plague later, but I don't think I need Wand of Hypnosis or Wand of Gust. And, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta get the get all the cards as fast as possible. Otherwise, what's the point? So I have three rats right now, which means, up, oh, yeah. So that's something I have to deal with. Just the. A whole bunch of rats attacking the king unsuccessfully. Alright. Yep, more rats. Yeah, so the main problem is bodyguard, I guess. Rook and Bishop bodyguard. Alright, there we go. Um, do I want to Rook every 10 turns? Rooks get two less health if I do that, so I think that probably is fine. Right, I want to shoot on the left, and then I'll shoot on the right. Huh. Oh, pawns have two... Yeah, everything got its health reduced by Black Plague, because that card got buffed in this mod. In Vanilla Shotgun King, it's just um, 
you know, the plague effect and minus one fire range, but it took away the minus one fire range and added another passive effect that's really strong. Okay, um, I don't want to add more health to pieces and reduce my firepower. Add a bishop every 10 turns, I mean, it's probably fine. Um, ascension, make bishops able to go over stuff. Uh, I don't know, in 10 turns I'll probably be good to go. I'll just take the Wand of Frenzy, since it, getting a free reload might help. Getting an extra turn when I kill a king is uh, not something I want to just take when I don't have any extra kings. King minus 3 health, though. Well, the king's health doesn't really matter, because he's just going to get, like, bodyguarded. And now we wait. Alright. Hmm. Wand of Wrath. Okay, add a queen. Hmm. I think pentagrams will eventually be really hard to get because of how many pieces are on the board, just like physically stopping me from getting them. So I'm going to take King's Mistress and the Wand instead. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of this bishop. Any yeah, those pawns are going to the left, or those rats are going to the left, and all right, we're out of here. Didn't even take our first turn. Okay. Another legion. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I need to add eight pawns. That'll just make animations take too long. I think ascension is also fine. And Black Mist, I could see that being clutch later on in the run. All the bishops that are moving on turn one will be hard to get the rats to hit them due to, due to ascension. Alright. Okay, the moral of the story is just use the wand on a bishop at the start of the round. Ugh. I forget what the alternative was to Holy Sick. Oh, yeah, it was, um. It was pawns get plus one health and they get spears. Wow, even more pawns. Um, I feel like Wand of Downpour would actually be pretty good here. There's no boss in Endless, so yeah, just king plus one speed. Yeah, seems good. Alright, new bishop's about to move. Oh, they're both about to move. Okay. Actually, do I want to use... I don't. I probably use the wand of downpour first. It's like, do the random damage first, and then see where it goes, and then I can use, then I can target the wand of wrath. All right. Um, alright, I get one more chance to find something cool. Um, I think bishops having shields... I think the Wand of Downpour and the Wand of Wrath can kind of counter that, but still... Um, 
We could just get a rook on turn 20. Well, Offertory is so powerful that I think I will take it. Alright. And now we wait. Hey, and I have the I got the queen soul I wanted. Now I have the maximum flexibility in terms of soul cards. So yeah, unsurprisingly, it was very easy to get to endless. The the whole you know the whole thing is like. How far will I be able to get with five rats? So, yep, that's where I'm going to call it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next part.